Hey, what's up? In this video, I am going to show you how I organize my wigs. Stay tuned. Welcome back, I am Christine Horn, professional working actress of 20 plus years and a life and career coach for actors. I'm the founder of Hollywood Bound Actors and yeah, I get asked about my wigs all the time. As an actress, I do film, I do television, I do Broadway and I wear wigs all the time. Like this is the first time I've actually had braids in in quite some time. But I was like, hey, nothing's going on right now. So, you know, why not get my hair braided up? But for years, I've been a wig collector like so many of you, I'm sure. And I have gone through <laughs> many variations of how I store and care for my wigs. I have a lot of synthetic wigs as well as human hair, all kinds of styles, especially when I used to live in Atlanta. We have so many hair stores. It's just like a hair dream. <laughs> but I was talking to my good, good friend, my friend Saikon, um, and we both love wigs. And I was like, I'm gonna find a better way to organize them now. When I lived in Atlanta before, I had a house and I had space, so I was able to put styrofoam heads all around and just look at all my hair in one easy place. But living in um, Los Angeles, where I live now, our space, we just don't have a ton of storage. So I don't have the luxury of just having a bunch of heads around. And it actually, to be honest, I don't really, I wouldn't want to stare at a bunch of styrofoam heads all day anyway. But if you're real, you probably have been, you know, like me before, like a bunch of hair and a bag at times, <laughs> trying to pull out what you need. And that just was not working. It wasn't organized. And I hated having to pull out so many wigs just to find the one I was looking for. So I started doing a few tests with different ways to store them. Of course, I was looking here on YouTube and nothing quite stuck out for me. So I did a test purchase on some bags on Amazon and I'm gonna put the link to in the description below. If this was a the purchase of these bags, they're like plastic clear bags. Can you see that? They have some that come black like this. The bag is clear, but the zipper area is black and there's zippers on both sides, right? and on the same other side as well. But they also had, uh, if you wanted just all the way transparent, and they also had some that were white. I avoided the white because sometimes I have makeup on my hands, and, you know, and I want to look very. So I just ordered the five. It was a pack of five. It was like, I want to say like 16 or 18 bucks. Again, the link is below. And I was like, let me just try this and see how it works. So this is what I ended up doing. I really like them. They come in small or large. This is the large. This is the large. I was trying to see if I had a, a ruler. Of course, when I'm looking for a ruler, there we go. Bam. You like the hair turn? So I was just wanted. So I just wanted to like let you see this. Um, so it's about about ten inches wide. So it's perfect. So what I do is, so now I'm super organized. I feel very proud of this. It took me two days to just organize, take my time. It took the time to comb out all of my wigs. This is one y'all see me in all the time. Her name is Chasty. And I just have it in multiple colors. So here's what I do. I put, if I remember, now I have plenty of old wigs where I don't still have the thing. I couldn't even tell you what the name of it is, but wait for it, I got something for you. So I just, I comb it out, make sure I put my, you know, hair products on it, however I wanna do it. And then I put it in the bag and then she gets zipped up. And so what I've been doing and wait for, I'm gonna tell you about the ones that I don't have a label for, but I have these little bins that I keep, I have two bins. I got on clearance at Office Depot and I keep the wigs I wear all the time, like my go-to wigs. Just I keep them there and I put these in my hall closet right outside of my office because, wait for it, <laughs> I have this big old bin full of more of these. But those are the wigs I don't wear all the time, totally different styles. So here, catch this. So I'm gonna open some from, I'm gonna open some from the from the bin I just showed you. So let's say I don't have the label anymore, right? 
Um, I don't have the label, like Miss Chastity, right? So here's what I do. <laughs> Look at this, this says old lady wigs, right? So it's just like, I, I have a certain kind of, I have certain wigs that I wear, like when I, again, I do a lot of television. So I'll get a ro an audition for a role and it'll be like 50s or 60s. Yes, y'all, sometimes it'll be like 50s or 60s. And so I need to wear a wig that ages me up. So now I don't have to go searching through my whole, I used to empty this whole bin. It was a mess. I mean, I'm so proud of myself now. I mean, you see that? How organized it is? You see that? And you see how squished these are? This is how it comes in the package. So they're all squished like that when you get them. Again, the link is below. Another way I like to describe them, I just, I'll say librarian curly wig. Now again, I'm just labeling things that I know what it means. I'll also label things by the show that I wore it on. Let me see if I can give you an example. Okay, this is a great example. I was on a show called Greenleaf on the OWN Network uh, many seasons ago. And so this is just called Greenleaf Lace Front. So I just know exactly, oh, I know what wig that is. So I think the wigs you have, you know when you wore them, even if you're not an actress, you know, uh, you know, maybe it's the, your favorite birthday wig, or maybe it's, you know, the wig your man likes, like whatever it is. I think just labeling them like this makes it so easy. And again, the wigs that are in my bin are the ones that I, don't wear, I just wear when I feel like it. I have all kinds of funky styles, but these are like my go-to, my working wigs, my human hair wigs. Lately, I've been doing a lot of um, work in a really long lace front. And so I got it from a hair store called Giovanni and Sons out here in California. And so I just know what it is. And so I'm just happy about it. I am happy about it. I was talking to my girl, Seikon. I'm gonna put her link to her channel below too, because she's amazing. And I was just happy to find a process that worked for me. So you can try it, see if it works for you. It might not, but the, these bags were really helpful. And I have wigs of all different sizes. I think there's only one wig out of all of them. It was a super huge, frizzy, kinky, curly, like extreme wig that did not fit in this, but that's one out of 60, maybe. So try it, click the link below, and I hope you enjoy this. So this is a little insight into how I keep my wigs and I'm so happy because that really is saving me time on getting prepped for my auditions or just a night out whenever we'll have those again. But <laughs> you know what I mean? Thank you for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye.